A new surveillance image from inside Robb Elementary on the day of the deadly shooting, raising even more questions. The Austin American statesman sharing the image last night that shows law enforcement in a hallway with rifles and ballistic shields at 11.52 a.m., 19 minutes after the gunman entered two classrooms and opened fire. However, we are told that police did not go into those classrooms for another hour. Another overseas shipment of baby formula making its arrival to the United States. Airlines delivered the pallets of formula from London, landing in Boston late yesterday. According to the White House, 212,000 pounds of formula is expected to arrive just this week. ERCOT, or the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, announcing another record was broken yesterday. ERCOT's dashboard showed more than 76 gigawatts were pulled. The previous record was 75. Right now, Texas is experiencing record heat registering in the triple digits. ERCOT continues to emphasize the grid has enough power to meet the demand. Floods, landslides, and lightning strikes being blamed for the deaths of at least 52 people in Bangladesh and India. Officials say severe weather has affected millions of people in the region since the early part of this month. Officials say the main issue right now, lack of drinking water and lack of food. Helicopters are still being used to get aid to those who are stranded by the floodwaters. History is made in Colombia. Gustavo Petro is Colombia's first leftist president and his vice president, Francia Marquez, is now the first Afro-Colombian to hold executive powers in the country. Petro is a 60-year-old former guerrilla fighter. He reportedly won his third presidential bid by a slim margin this weekend. Petro says if he won, he would focus on food security and seek negotiations with President Joe Biden to sign a new deal around clean energy production and the protection of the Amazon. Today is Prince William's birthday, the monarch turning 40 years old. Since his birth, the world has watched the prince assume his role and assume his place as the next heir to the throne behind his father, Prince Charles. William is using his 40th birthday to address poverty and homelessness. In the United Kingdom, marginalized people can actually earn money selling the magazine entitled The Big Issue. Ahead of today, the Duke of Cambridge took to the streets to sell copies of the magazine. JetBlue is trying to sweeten the deal again in its bid to buy Spirit Airlines. JetBlue is now offering more than $3.6 billion. Spirit and Frontier had already agreed to a merger worth about $3 billion. There could be some big help on the way in terms of gas prices, and it could happen by the end of the week. President Joe Biden promising a decision soon on whether he would get behind a holiday for the federal gas tax. Now, if he does, that could slice about 18 cents a gallon off the price of gas. The national average, according to AAA, is just under $5 a gallon for regular. AAA is predicting a record number of July 4th drivers despite gas prices hitting a record earlier this month. The group predicts 42 million Americans, more than ever before, will take a road trip of 50 miles or more. The national average per gallon on Monday stood at $4.98. AAA says travel demand is not tapering off despite the higher expenses.